Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugarloaf and Carabasset Valley. Hope you're ready for a great day. Enjoying all the fresh snow we've gotten in the past week. It's time to take a check of your latest local forecast. You can find this online at WSKITV.com on all your internet devices. And this is brought to you by 45 North. Check them out in the Sugarloaf Mountain Hotel. We'll see partly sunny skies for the day today. Increasing clouds as the day progresses. A southeast wind hardly noticeable across the hill, so that's going to feel great out there, as well as high temperatures getting into the mid-30s at the base, mid-20s up towards the summit. So get out there, do some exploring with some friends, and have a great time out on the hill. Tuesday, we'll start to see some snow developing. Should see 4 to 7 inches of snow throughout the day, uh, and then it'll snow more overnight with another 5 to 8 inches of accumulation into Wednesday. But during the day on Tuesday. We'll see some noticeable breezes up towards the summit of the mountain. High temperature of only 29 degrees at the base. We'll see a high temperature of 20 up towards the summit. So it will stay all snow. And as I said before, uh, snow wrapping up on Wednesday. Uh, five to eight inches overnight Tuesday night into Wednesday with a high temperature of 33 degrees and Thursday we'll see snow showers lingering around with a high of 35 and Friday some more snow showers and a high of 27 degrees. So it's going to be great out there. Another great weekend coming up next weekend. So get up here and enjoy it. Birchwood Interiors brings you this trail report. 144 trails to ski and ride on. Over a thousand acres of terrain to explore. Nine trails getting you, or nine lifts getting you to those runs. 57 trails all groomed out and some true packed powder surfaces out there. The groomers were out last night on Timberline, Bridal Chain, Upper Binder, Tote Road, Upper Double Bitter, King's Landing and Hayburner, Narrow Gauge, Gondola Line, Wedge, as well as Sluice. They got Lower Winter's Way, Candy Side, Boardwalk, The Landing, as well as The Birches, and Snowbrook down below the base area. That's where you're going to want to head if you just learn to ski or ride. Over on the east side, they groomed out Hallback, Ram Down, Two Hall, Wiffle Tree, Slasher, Rollway, Springboard, and Lower Buckboard. Over on the west side, they got Scoot, Lower Windrow, Good Chance and Horseshoe, all the terrain parks got some work as well. So if you're looking for some ungroomed terrain, there's still plenty of that out there as well. Snubber, Sawduster, and Skidway, those are the three lifts that will move you around the base area. They get going at 8.30 this morning. If you're just learning to ski or ride, that's where you're going to want to head. Double Runner East gets you a little higher on the hill for runs down Boardwalk, Lower Winter's Way, as well as Pipeline and Lower Narrow Gauge. Superquad and Skyline get going at 8.30. Superquad gets you to a variety of mid-mountain terrain. Skyline gets you up to Spillway Crosscut. That allows you to branch out all across the mountain. And at 9 o'clock, the Timberline lift gets going. That gets you up to the summit of the mountain. King Pine and Wiffletree, those are the east side lifts. King Pine, a bit more advanced terrain. Wiffletree, a nice intermediate slope, a nice fast super quad to uh, make some laps on. And number three T-Bar, as always, is on demand. Tons of cross-country skiing down the Sugarloaf Outdoor Center. Uh, conditions should be great down there, as well as the snowshoeing in the woods. Uh, fat biking is closed with the new snow. Uh, conditions are just a bit too soft for that, but they've got some great deals at the Bull Moose Bakery and Cafe. Some great eats, as well as the retail shop has got some sales as well. Well, the fat bike trails off the narrow, narrow gauge pathway have been all packed down and they should be in decent condition as things should have firmed up overnight as temperatures got below freezing. Bullwinkle's Brunch goes on at 10 a.m. every single Wednesday, so be sure to take advantage of that. Put that on your morning calendar for the middle of the week. And 1 Stanley Avenue, a classic cuisine of Maine right down on Stanley Avenue in Kingfield. Very unique dining experience, so go check that out. Also, I want to let you know the annual town meeting is Wednesday, March 14th. There'll be the election of the officers down at the town office and then head up to the outdoor center for the uh, annual town meeting. So check that out if you're a Carabasset Valley resident or just want to know what's happening. We will wrap up a watch and win this morning, so be sure to tune in. We'll uh, qualify some more people for those amalgam skis as well as that Thule ski bag and uh, pick a winner for the uh, Thule ski bag. And also check out our website, wskitv.com, so you can know before you go.